There's no controversies here. There's no dis disagreements among nutritional scientists that are not affiliated with commercial food companies. Most all the nutritional scientists in the world recognize that diets high in animal products increase the risk of both cancer and cardiovascular disease. Because we have studies that are very, um, that, are, that can't be refuted at this point. Here's a study, for example, that followed mostly women, more than 44,000 women, for many years, more than 16 years, and they tracked over that 16-year period what the women ate and how much animal products they ate. If they were on a vegan diet, they gave them a score of one. If they were on like an Atkins paleo diet, where they weren't eating a lot of animal products, they gave them a score of 20. Now, every woman was scored based on how many animal products they ate as a percent of total calories, from a score of one to none to a score of 20 to very heavy animal products, like a keto diet. So you got a two or a six or a 10, and they found that cardiovascular death went up 5% for every two points of animal product increase in the score. Did you follow that? Consecutive increased cardiovascular disease animal products go up. And it's not just from cholesterol raising of animal products, which that's one of the factors, but there's at least 100 factors that increase the risk of death from eating more animal products, including the fact that animal products do not contain antioxidants and phytochemicals. They're just, a, and they're, they're calorically rich. There are, there are a lot of calories. You can get a lot of calories in at one time. And they fuel the growth of certain bacteria in the gut. And the bacteria in the gut that live in people who produce a lot of animal products, those bacteria produce inflammatory toxins like TMAO, trimethylamine oxide. That's just one example. We're going to find 16 more of those. It's like when uric acid rises in the bloodstream in response to a lot of animal products irritates our tissues. But there are 14 other toxins, that nitrogenous waste products, that rise as uric acid goes up. Urea, you know, ammonia, you know. And they affect brain function. So every single study we look at, let me make that clear, every study, some, every study shows the same thing. And everyone we take a large amount of people, not a small amount, a large amount. If we take a large amount of people and we track the amount of animal products eaten and we track them until they get older and we look at hard endpoints like death and when they die, we always see they shorten their lifespan with more animal products in the diet. And we also see as they cut carbohydrates out and try to get keto and try to form ketones and acidify the body, their lifespan shortens. These are hypothesis. We have the most popular diets in the world are the ones that are the most thoroughly disproved because people don't want to give up their meat. Right? They want to eat what they want to eat, and they'll, look at, and they'll try to disavow and try to find a flaw in any study that they can, so they can just say, because I, I, was, I was listening to a debate once between, it was actually a debate between John Mackey, the head of Whole Foods, this, this person who wrote a book on why your diet should be all animal products, and they're debating. And this person is saying, oh, well, you can't trust anything Dean Ornish did because we don't know if it's the, we don't know if it's a diet that helped. It could have been the meditation that helped. It could have been the yoga that helped them. He mixed it with meditation and yoga. We don't know that this study mattered because it could have been those people who were eating more vegetables were getting more exercise and maybe they're wealthy or whatever. We couldn't tell it. They had a reason why you could, they went through like 30 studies and they disavowed, they had a reason why every study we couldn't trust it. You know what I mean? It's the same thing a lot of the vegan people do, right? Same thing they're doing with nuts and seeds. As one study, as hundreds of studies come out saying that nuts and seeds reduce cardiovascular death and increase lifespan, you have these low-fat vegans trying to protect themselves, trying to look at why those study, why one study isn't right, why another study is right. Well, maybe it's just the person ate more nuts, ate more vegetables. Or maybe it's the, you know, as if these, as if these researchers who spend their life learning how to research and control for variables don't have any, don't, aren't as intelligent as they are. The third, the five, the, the, you know, the 80 researchers putting their, doing these studies for years and years and years, and they go through every, all 25 epidemiologic studies, all showing the same thing. One of the most reproducible and co consistent and provable findings in the history of nutritional science for the last 20 years is that eating nuts and seeds dramatically extends human lifespan and reduces cardiovascular death. And diets where nuts and seeds are eliminated increase cardiovascular death. And, and increase overall mortality. You get that?
We we'll showed for some of those studies. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that the people who are trying to disavow that meat, that eating high meat diets. So the same studies show the same thing. The Adventist Health Study too showed that if they divided nut and seed intake into five quintiles, the lowest fifth had a 39% increase risk of cardiovascular death. And this was a study on hundreds of thousands of people com compared to the people who had the highest intake of nuts and seeds, the fifth quintile. Had a, in the same exact study, it showed that the people with the highest amount of meat consumption, animal product consumption, had a 60% increase in cardiovascular death compared to people with the least meat consumption, animal product consumption. You following that? But, the, but people look at it, they take the part they want to take out of it. They don't want to take the, the part that, if you're going to accept the value of the study, you've got to take, look at the whole thing. Is that study consistent with other studies done on the same subject? Or is this an anomaly? You know what I mean by that? Is this like, did, ev did all the studies show that people who ate more nuts and seeds had more death? Was there ever a study that showed that people with more nuts and seeds had more death? No, never, not one. They all showed people lived longer.